Hey team, welcome back to my channel. In this short video, we're going to look at the function generate series. It's part of Postgres SQL and it's a nice little function I have in the tool bag. Let us look at generate series. Notice here it's got two functions. It's got a start stop function and then a start stop interval. By default, if you don't give me the step interval, the interval is one. Notice in our first example, we're going to go from zero to six and it's implied step one. The second example, I'm going to go from six to zero. My step is negative one, so count backwards. And then the next example, 10 to 100, step 10. And then here you can see I'm going to go from zero to 10, step two. And notice I'm using a where clause to limit my set. I'm not going to include the zero. And here you can see that I'm going to increment by a fraction. Our start and stops can also be fractions. And here's our first date. Notice I'm going to get the current date, which is a timestamp. And I'm going to increment by 5 hours and 30 minutes for one day. And then on this example, I'm going to start today and go back minus one day for five hours, 30 minutes, and I'm going to use the keyword ago. And now we're going to look at the shorthand interval notation. It's going to start with P, then give me a quantity, and then the date unit type, year, month, week, day. And then I can add a series of these like you know, one year, three months, two weeks, four days, right? And then if I want to include the time unit, say T, and then hour, minute, second, and then a quantity. Let's look at some examples. The first one here is I'm going to start with today. I'm going to go out 14 days, and I'm going to increment by two days. Sweet. Here you can see that I'm going to increment by one week for those 30 days. So that's just every week. And in this example, I'm going to do 30 days on a two week interval. Nice. And now I'm going to do two days and notice I'm using time now. So I have to put the T in there. So two days, in eight hours increment over 30 days. So every eight hours, sweet. And then our last example, long winded, four weeks, two days. Oh, I'm using the time eight hours and 30 minutes over an entire year. And there you have it team, the get series function.